Week 10 Mastery Assignment. The genocide that I'm doing is called the Rwandan Genocide. When the when did the Rwandan Genocide happen? The Rwandan Genocide took place between April and July in 1994. The Rwandan Genocide, however, was the fastest growing in killings ever recorded. The events leading up to the genocide, the main event that happened was the Tutsi and the Hutus rivalry. Now, the Hutus banned the Tutsi from Rwanda because of their ruling style. The Hutus didn't like it, and so they pretty much overthrew them, overthrew them. Um, and the Tutsi had to retreat. Now the Tutsi went into different neighboring countries. Some went to, like for example, Uganda. Now, it wasn't um, the longest amount and the genocide only lasted 400 days. Now the different types of weapons used in the uh, uh, genocide, sorry. Um, so there weren't that many weapons, but there were, they used the AK-47, Molotov cocktails, machetes, and other types of guns, like handguns, and the rifles, um, and so how did they get their weapons? Now, the CIA was tracking some weapons, and they noticed that they were being shipped across the country to Uganda. Now, Uganda... Uh, when they got the weapons, they made a deal with Rwanda because Uganda knew that they were going to have a war with the Tutsi. Um, so the Rwandan genocide was supplied by Uganda. However, the CIA didn't act upon the weapons because they didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and the reason why I say it was the most amount of killings ever recorded is because there was 800,000 people killed in 100 days. Now, the book Night. The Night is made by Ellie Weasel, and the book is about a kid that was 15 years old, and his name was Ellie Weasel, um, and it took place in Germany. Um, and how long did the Holocaust last? Because this book is about the Holocaust and his experience. The Holocaust lasted for four years, and the person that was in control was Adolf Hitler. Um, so, how long did it last, and how long, when did it start and end? So, like I said, the Holocaust lasted for four years. However, the Holocaust started in 1941 and ended May 8th, 1945. Um, so what does the word Holocaust mean? The word Holocaust means destruction or slaughter on a mass scale, especially caused by fire or nuclear war. In this case, it was fire and kind of nuclear war at the same time. So if you look at these pictures, these are called the crematoriums. Now, in the book, Night, Eliezer Riesel was saying that they would throw women, children, um, men, just kids, babies even, into these pits and they'd just burn alive. Or they'd have a mass execution like this. Um... So, what type of people were killed in the Holocaust? So, not only were the Jews killed, but there were also um, Jews, Gypsies, intellectual disabled, um, dissidents, uh, people that went against like government power, and homosexuals. Um, so, what were some of the methods that the SS officers used to kill the Jews? Um, some of them were torture. Uh, they'd whip them, hurt them, or even push them to the limits of working. 
Um, the other one was burning in a pit. Um, execution, like a firing squad. Or they just leave them outside and let them die from the cold. So different things the Jews experienced. Um, like I said, Adolf Hitler was in charge during during the Holocaust. Um, the uh, Adolf Hitler maintained control of the German people by saying that his society is messed up and the people, the group slash religion that Adolf Hitler blamed for this messed up society was the Jews, gypsies, intellectual, disabled, the descendants, and the homosexuals. Um, so you might be asking what type of leader was Adolf Hitler? Now, Adolf Hitler is a leader that is known as a totalitarian leader. Totalitarian means that he is saying that he is in charge. I am the best. Nobody could overthrow me or tell me what to do. Basically, I am the all-time all -time power. You cannot, like, contradict what I say. Um, so, how were the prisoners treated in the concentration camps? Um, so... One of the concentration camps, or the concentration concentration camp that was mentioned in the book Night, was in Auschwitz, Germany, and in that concentrate concentration camp alone, one million people died. Um, so these prisoners or slaves, um, if they didn't cooperate, they'd be killed. Um, so, like, an example of that is if they were going for, like, an extra ration of soup, they would be killed on the spot. Um, and these people were treated terribly. They were treated like they are like they were animals. Um, so, the similarities between the Rwanda genocide and the Holocaust. Both genocides had a lot of deaths both targeted one race less religion um, and they both used a variety of ways of killing people that they did. Um, differences between the Rwandan genocide and the Holocaust. The Holocaust, Holocaust lasted for four years and the Rwandan genocide only lasted for a hundred days. Um, the Holocaust has six million deaths recorded and one million of those were in Auschwitz. Rwandan genocide had 800,000 people dead. The Rwandan genocide happened between because of a rivalry. The Holocaust happened because Hitler didn't like the Jews or anyone who associated with them. Hitler was a totalitarian leader and the Rwanda genocide, they had a president. Um, so what does this mean for the people? Um, so like, what does this outcome of the Holocaust and Rwanda genocide really show slash tell the people of the world? Um, so I'd say that this outcome would should show others that you need to be kinder and you watch what you say you need to like control the words that are coming out of your mouth because sometimes you might be joking with someone but there is a line that each individual has and if you cross that it could really hurt someone um and i was uh for one assignment i had to listen to this um woman talking about how she fostered kids from the genesis uh, from the holocaust and she said that backyard bullying was one step away from the from a genocide now if you don't know what i'm talking about um basically the verbal abuse the punch to the gut that could throw someone over the edge to think that mass killing public, publicly and socially is okay. That is why I say that we need to watch what we say. 
Now, for the sources that I use, you can visit these sites. There's the BBC News, History.com, TheGuardian.com, and another History.com. Hope you guys liked, and see you next time.